Good afternoon, Church of the Ascension. Welcome to Noonday Prayer. Today is July 6, 2020, and where am I? I'm in a very special place, a place where I, I have lots of good memories and continue to have good memories, and really, this is sort of my third home, my own home, Church of the Ascension, and my sister's home, Allison Cruz, with her boys, Bennett Cruz and Hogan Cruz, and Hogan is in the background. I'll tell you why I'm doing noonday prayer, and I specifically wanted the pool in the background with a swan named Clyde. I'll, tell, I'll get to that in a moment. But in the meantime, please open up your Book of Common Prayer to page 103, or if you're online, you can check at bookofcommonprayer.org, and let's begin noonday prayer together. Our service begins on page 103. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia! Our psalm today is Psalm 126, found on page 105. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A brief reading from Malachi. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Thanks be to God. So, why did I choose this space? Well, I chose it for many reasons. First and foremost, it's my sister's home, as well as the home of my nephews, Hogan and Bennett, and we have many wonderful, wonderful times here. But there's more to it than that, because I think this space is a witness. Think about it. Many times in life, things happen that we may not have chosen. And we have a choice in how we can react to disappointments or when things turn out the way that we didn't plan or anticipated. What I admire about my sister and her two boys is how they make something beautiful how they take their desires and how though those desires may not have manifested the way they would have wanted, they turn it into something even more special and even more deep. Now, wanted, we have always wanted a pool, but a pool has been without our reach. Well, my sister said, no, a pool is going to be within the Hogan family, Cruz family reach. And here we go. We have a pool. And not only that, but it comes with a swan named Clyde. I think it's kind of an apt symbol, a swan, because a swan is something that grows into beauty, whereas uh, it may not be as beautiful from the very beginning. And so, wherever you are, Church of the Ascension, look at your space. Find beauty in your space, especially when you're quarantined right now. See God's grace, see God's glory, listen to trucks in the background, and just enjoy the life that you've been given. Make the most out of the life that you've been given. Find deep meaning in the life that you've been given. And know that all of us, no matter who we are, where our station is in life, our advantages or disadvantages, we are all in this together. We are all walking on this journey together. So take a few moments not only meditate, and I'm going to share with you Clyde, that's the name of the swan, and this pool, and this place that I'm so proud of, but I want you to also meditate 
on the gifts in your own life. Look around your own space. See the beauty. It may be a memento, a statue, a piece of furniture, or a painting that's in the background. But meditate on your own beauty in life and the many blessings God gives all of us. Hello, Jennifer, Christy, Mary, Barbara, Carol, Gordon. Hello, John Michael. Hi. It's a beautiful backyard. Plenty of room for Charlie to run. That's the dog. There's lovely neighbors, a woman named Margaret who lives next door. At some point, we're going to invite all of Ascension over here for a pool party. your own space. See what gifts you have and see the beauty in your own life and make it even more beautiful and get yourself an inflatable swan. We continue with Noonday Prayer on page 106. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil Lord hear our prayer and let our cry come to you let us pray Heavenly Father send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Ascension, I now ask for your prayers for the following people of our parish. We pray for Lida Barrett, Joel Baxley, Avery Browning, Jerry Buck, Amy Caponetti, Larry Krausen, Jamie Drummer, Thomas Frazier, Charles Gerhees, Ann Hansen, Becky Hare, Jimmy Hunter, Kay Irwin, The Jenkins Family, Keith Kelly, Ellen Lovett, Sam McNutt, Anita Medlock, Rita Myers, Carolyn Montgomery, Jan Neese, the Nelson family, Ned and Beth Patterson, Sue Pyers, Demi Perez, George Pipes, Sue Ellen Rail, Carmen and Ryan Smith, Melanie Staten, Martha Williamson. We also pray for the life of Paul Bergeron, who passed away on July 4th. We pray for the entire Bergeron family. God, we also pray for this divided world right now. We pray for this world of uncertainty and fear. In the midst of division, we pray for unity. In the midst of certainty, we pray for hope. 
And in the midst of fear, we pray for trust that you, God, will help us all come together to become wiser and that we are we will open our eyes to see your grace in the world and see the beauty in this world and the beauty that each one of us possesses so that we may recognize your divine presence in all our beings and in the beings of others. Amen. Now, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be dismayed, but know that the Lord your God is with you all the way. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Now, I have a very special guest. Very special guest. And I'm going to grab the phone. And I'm going to interview Hogan Douglas Cruz. Hogan Douglas Cruz, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Thank you so much for opening up your backyard. Uh, so tell me, Hogan, how long have you been attending Church of the Ascension? All my life. All your life. What do you like about Ascension? The people are nice, and the church is very pretty, and I really like the services there. So what have you been doing during this COVID crisis? I've just been doing schoolwork and just as many other things as other people are doing. Now, you've recently picked up a hobby, haven't you, that requires a helmet and pads. What is that? Uh, skateboarding. Skateboarding. You're pretty good at it, too, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You've had a few uh, spills, haven't you? Yep. Yeah, but you're doing okay. Good. And where will you be starting school next year and in what grade? I will be going to Knoxville Catholic High School in freshman. Freshman. All right. We need more Episcopalians at uh, Catholic high schools, right? Well, Hogan, thanks so much for being here, and we appreciate you opening up the backyard. And uh, not only am I grateful that you're a parishioner of Ascension, I'm grateful that you're my nephew. Thank you. Ascension, go forth with God, be good to one another and yourselves. Amen.